How Melting and Boiling Point Increases with Molecule Size by kscience.com Intermolecular forces are weak forces of attraction between molecules. Here are two water molecules, represented by dot and cross diagrams showing the outer electrons only. These red lines represent weak intermolecular forces. You must remember that intermolecular forces exist between the molecules. With intermolecular forces, there are no sharing of electrons. It is just a weak force of attraction that exists between molecules. Whereas, where these two outer shells overlap, this is a covalent bond. A covalent bond is between the atoms and they share a pair of electrons. We're now going to understand how these intermolecular forces affect whether a simple molecular substance is a solid, liquid or gas at room temperature. Remember this rule. The larger the molecule, the higher the melting and boiling point. We're going to use group 7 elements to understand how the larger the molecule, the higher the melting and boiling point. Fluorine has the smallest atom and iodine has the largest atom. The size of the atoms increases as you go down group 7. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Group 7 elements all form diatomic molecules. This is where there are two nonmetal atoms covalently bonded to each other to form distinct molecules. Now, you can see how the fluorine atom is the smallest, so it forms the smallest molecule, and the iodine atom is the biggest, so it forms the biggest molecule. This has a very big impact on whether the melting point and boiling point is going to be high or low. The two smallest molecules, fluorine and chlorine, they are both gases at room temperature. Bromine molecules are larger, so is a liquid at room temperature. And iodine molecules are the largest, so forms a solid at room temperature. These are examples of simple molecular substances. The majority of simple molecular substances are gases or liquids at room temperature. Some are solids, such as iodine as we already know sulfur, phosphorus, and there are others which you can research. So why is it the larger the molecule, the higher the melting and boiling point? Well, bigger molecules have more intermolecular forces between them. These red lines represent the intermolecular forces between the molecules. You can see how there are more intermolecular forces between the chlorine molecules because they're bigger. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. And between these two bromine molecules, there are more intermolecular forces again because the molecules are bigger. Between the iodine molecules, there are intermolecular forces. And you can see how the iodine molecules have the most intermolecular forces between the molecules. So bigger molecules have more intermolecular forces between them due to more contact between bigger molecules. Therefore, more energy is required to break the stronger intermolecular forces, so higher melting and boiling points. Because the molecules that make up fluorine and chlorine are so small, they have the least intermolecular forces, so require the least energy to break these intermolecular forces between the molecules, so have the lowest melting and boiling points. Iodine molecules are the biggest, so have the most intermolecular forces between them, therefore require the most energy to break these intermolecular forces between the molecules, so have the highest melting and boiling points. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow.
Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.